Okay, I got an epic training for you guys today on the Smart Music Business Podcast. I'm going to be sharing how we hit over 100,000 streams on Spotify and YouTube and other platforms. But before I get into it, I want to let you know that today's episode is sponsored by 10x Your Fan Base. I'm doing the first live challenge that I've done in a long time. It's a five-day challenge. Go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. And for five days, I'm going to be teaching live, showing you how to 10x your fan base, multiply your royalties, your fans, how to build an email list, which is so important, how to set up your merch store, and how to monetize it. Now, there's two tickets you can get. You can get the general admission. It's only a dollar. And you can get the VIP, which gives you an extra hour before we start to ask me questions live which I charge a thousand plus dollars to coach with. So you're getting that for a crazy discount. Go to 10 fanbase.com forward slash live challenge. It's going to be so awesome. We are going to sell out. So make sure you go there. So now on to business. And if you're listening to this, make sure you go to YouTube and watch the video as well, because I'm going to be doing a tutorial and going through stuff. Right now, we have about 968,930 monthly listeners on Spotify, so almost 970,000. I want to break the million so bad, and I'm hoping my next song does that. Um, But what I love about Spotify, if you go to your artist's dashboard, I think it is. Let me just go here, and it's my artist.spotify.com. I love when you click on music and you click on stats. It shows you um, how many streams of your latest song if you click on your song and it actually shows it live and it counting up so I'm seeing I've got 99,575 and now it says 99,576 and 77 and it just keeps going up which is which is really cool so you can see where you're at and if you go to the right I can see day one we had 22,000 streams and then day two we had 13,000 and then we dipped down to 10,000 on Sunday And just so you know, streams always go down on the weekends, right? And then they pop back up. Like I went from 10,000 streams on Sunday to about 13,000 on Monday and then 12,000 Tuesday and now today 11,000. So it's going down a little bit. But one thing that we did do um, inside of your artists.spotify.com dashboard, if you click on campaigns, there's something really dope that you can do, which is called a Spotify marquee campaign. And so we did that. I spent 250 bucks. It reached 2,759 people. We got 455 clicks. And so I got a lot more pre-saves. And if I click on see results, I can see that I converted listeners. 515 people streamed the release after seeing the campaign. So I got 515 like people that listened to it. So that's dope. So that's an 18% conversion rate, which is pretty awesome. And then it tells me the average active stream from the release per listener is 2 to 3. Okay, so they listen to at least two to three more songs. So that's great, right? And so it, it, it converted and got more people. And what's really cool is 17% added it to playlists. So it says 134 people, um, or th- 134 tracks were added to playlists after that. And then 164 tracks were saved. All right, so that's the data. And so I do this now with every release. So I haven't scheduled it for my next um, song. I have a new song coming out called Brain Dead. And so what I'll do is is I'll click Create Campaign here, and I'll probably dump at least 250 bucks into that one. Now, when I release the album, when the actual album comes out, I'm probably going to go like 500, 750. I'm going to go a lot deeper um, because it's the full album and I have a chance of making my money back. But that's partly what I did to... Um, promote this song and to, and to really get those 100,000 plus streams. Now, another thing that I did, like uh, I had that song, Nemesis came out, let's just go with, with Brain Dead, because um, that song comes out April 15th, and I'm recording this on April 1st, but I submitted that song to Spotify on March 28th, I think it was, and you got to make sure that I submit this at least three weeks before the scheduled date because it just showed up in my Spotify dashboard. Like when I click on music and then I click on upcoming, I can see the songs that are upcoming and this is where I pitch. Look, it says Pitched Yesterday by Chris Greenwood, um, this song Brain Dead, because I want to get it on the editorial playlists because they're so freaking important, right? 
but I gotta make sure there's at least three weeks ahead of time because even when I upload it to DistroKid or TuneCore, it, t it took uh, about 48 to 72 hours to show up inside here. So if I go based off of like two weeks, just off of like April 15th, if I submitted it today, then it wouldn't show up until April 4th or 5th. And then that means there wouldn't be two weeks and I would miss the opportunity to pitch to the editorial playlist. So I'd miss the whole thing. So that's why you need at least three weeks. I prefer three and a half to make sure it shows up in your dashboard and then you can pitch it to the editorial playlist. Now, let me show you how important editorial playlists are. If I click on Nemesis and then I click on playlists and I got added to two big metal playlists, right? And this is showing the last 28 days and the song hasn't been even been out 28 days. Now, all new metal got me 15,000 streams. New core got me 6,000 streams so far. But look what got me the most streams. Release Radar. And I feel like nobody really talks about it. We always talk about playlists. But the Release Radar is the playlist, is the, is the biggest algorithm playlist that really, really promotes you and blows you up. And this won't even get notified unless you do this. When you click on, um, let's go back to music, and you click on Upcoming, and you pitch. Okay, if you don't pitch, you will not trigger this playlist, which is the biggest one, which is the release radar. Okay, because that thing blows you up. So you want to make sure you're doing that, all right? Now, um, let's just go back to releases and nemesis. And we're, at, we're not at 100,000 yet. But the reason I said 100,000 is because if you go to my YouTube, we are currently at... Um, 20,000 views on there. So I like to say that's way over 100,000. That doesn't include Amazon, doesn't include Apple Music. But what's really interesting on here is this is the YouTube thumbnail for Nemesis, right? And if you look at this green check mark with the arrow up, that means that my typical views are really are a lot lower. And this is way up, like 20,000 versus 520. And it's because I release a lot of motivational videos and my fans like them, but they don't like them nearly as much as my songs. But what's really important is impressions through click through rate. So if I click on this, it says great job. People on YouTube are choosing to watch this video more often than usual based off of the thumbnail and the title. All right. And so when you have a really banging thumbnail, when people see that, that has them want to click through it, right? Now, my average view duration is down. Typical is two minutes to 22 seconds. But the reason that is down is because I did run some YouTube ads to that. So if I click on go to video analytics of this video, first, what's really dope is I can see that this video has gotten me 39 new subscribers. So that's good, right? I got the video got me 39 subscribers. So far, it's generated me $32. Woo, I'm rich, okay? So in the last 48 hours, I can see where the traffic has come from. YouTube search, browse features, playlists, which is great. So people are adding it to playlists. But what's really important is suggested videos. When you start getting YouTube to suggest the video for you, that's when you start hitting the gold and that's when you really start blowing up. All right. But there's another traffic source in here and I'm not running ads right now. But if I click see more, or actually, let's just do this. Let's exit out of there. If I change this from last 48 hours to, will it let me? Oh, it's not showing it to me. But it'll show YouTube ads in here as well, too. And that's why um, my view rate was a little down because um, I was running, running ads to it, okay? And so, again, really important to be promoting. I hope you can see I'm running YouTube ads. You know, I'm running Spotify marquee ads when my ad comes out. We did do a big pre-save camp campaign using DistroKid, all right? And we got the most pre-saves we had ever had for this song. But like I say, my goal is to always grow, guys. You should be wanting to grow. We had 22,000 streams of this. My song before that, if I click on music, releases, um, my song before that, Gravity Falls. What did it have when it came out? Let's go last 12 months. It had... 18,000 streams. All right, so we got 4,000 extra streams. So now my next goal is to get this one even bigger. The, the, my next one, Brain Dead. I want to get probably 
you know, if this one hit 22, I'd like to get 25 or 30,000. But that means I got to grow. Like I got to look at my audience and see and check out my followers. Like, am I getting more followers is, is the main thing. Like, okay, so on Thursday, March 3rd, I had 143,000. It's now April 1st. All right, it's not even showing me that. I got 145,000. So I've got 2,000 new followers. And you want followers, okay, not just monthly listeners, because followers mean when you release a new song, they're going to get notified if you pitch it to the release radar. So these are really, really important things, right? So we want to be growing in between re releases. I can't just be shoving songs out there and shoving songs out there and, and, and not also pouring gasoline on the fire with ads. Like I don't care if it's five bucks, 10 bucks a day, whatever you can do to continue to grow your fan base so that each new release has, you're bigger, right? Like you want to be bigger and get notified or otherwise we're not growing and we're just wasting our time. And what's cool here too is Spotify shows when you get added to a new playlist here, which is neat on the timeline. So cool stuff. I hope this has helped you out a lot. Again, make sure you go to 10xyearfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. I'm going to be doing that five day challenge. It starts April 11th. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be training you live for five days straight. I'm going to be showing you how to run Facebook and Instagram ads on a really advanced level, showing you how to build your email list, how to monetize your fan base with your music and merch. And, um, and then there's going to be Q and a for the first hour. If you join the VIP, if you get the VIP ticket, okay. Um, because we're going to be going from 11 to one, but it's 11 to 12 for VIPs and then 12 to one for general admission. Plus you get a whole bunch of bonuses, which are really awesome. So I look forward to seeing you on that. I want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits.